Hello Guardians, welcome back to DTR for the weekly vendor weapon rolls and which I am going to recommend for you to buy so don't miss out on these weapons because once they're gone it could be a very long time till they come back. First up I'm going to start a new monarchy mainly because the heavy machine gun they are selling is a bit of a quirky one and it's definitely going to be worth buying just to try out if you've got some spur legendary marks. I've not seen many people covering this one, which is why I'm throwing it in here, because I don't want to just be talking about what all the other weapons are being talked about. So, let's bring it up. It's called the First Citizen 9. The three sides that it has on it, CQB, Ballistic, Smart Drift Control, and Field Choke, you're going to want to be sticking with the CQB just simply because it gives you the most stability and without it this gun could be pretty hard to handle. Next up we have armor piercing rounds and quick draw. Now because it's a heavy machine gun it says it in the name it's heavy. Quick draw is going to be the best perk to go with here. Without this it would take a long time for this weapon to ready up. With quick draw that's not the issue. Then that's perfect balance or life leech. Now either of these perks are viable. Perfect balance would make it a lot easier to handle but I find this perk interesting. Life Leech, 3 rapid kills with this weapon, heals a small amount and starts health regeneration. So in PvE and PvP possibly, this could be a very interesting perk and could come in very helpful during the heavy rounds or when you've got heavy ammo. But combine this with Eye of the Storm, this weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower, meaning your level is going to get lower as you're taking damage and you're going to be firing it as it's getting easier to handle taking out adds three rapid kills your health starts to regenerate cancelling out this perk then your health starts coming down again activating this perk you kill with it activating this perk it's kind of like a little cycle kind of like the outlaw reactive reload combo so that's why i wanted to put this weapon in just because i've never seen that before so and like i said it's pretty decent as it is so it's definitely one worth trying out you might hate it, you might not. Next up, we have the Crucible Vendor, who's got another great rolled PvP weapon. I'm going to let you guess as to which one it is, and you're probably going to know. So here we are, at the Crucible Weapon Quartermaster, and as you can see, I'm going to go straight to the Palindrome. Yep, again, this week it has another God Roll palindrome so it has true sight and sure shot between them two I'm going to, I'd go with sure shot all the way yes you lose stability but I find the target acquisition is so much better on it then for its second lot of perks it has outlaw or Icarus both viable perks both could be used but with this last perk that I'm going to show you you're going to want to go with outlaw it has reinforced barrel or casket mag. You really want to be going reinforced barrel. There's no other choice there. Then reactive reload. So combining reactive reload with outlaw on this hand cannon is going to make it a beautiful weapon to use. Do not miss out on it. Then next, we have another weapon from this little robot guy with bull horns for some random reason. I think he's trying to copy off Shax. No idea why is the Hero Formula Scout Rifle. I've chose this weapon this week because you don't see many good PvP rolled Scout Rifles and this is one of them. It has a red dot scope or ranged lens or OEG rifle scope. You're not going to want to use them to, you want to stick with that red dot scope. It has life support or, or who's next. I was going to say partial refund then but it's not it. Here I would use life support because that's a great PvP perk. You know, getting a kill when you're critically wounded will cause your health regeneration to kick straight in. Means that you're not going to have to find cover to engage in your next battle. It then has brace frame or explosive rounds. Brace frame all day long for me here because it nearly maxes out the stability, meaning this scout rifle is gonna handle pretty damn nicely. And lastly, it has hidden hand. This means that the target acquisition on this scout rifle will be higher. It means aim assist, there's going to be more help for those headshots, giving you the upper hand in most battles. I have never seen a roll like this on a scout rifle. 
This is a sort of roll combined with rifle barrel that you'd see on a hand cannon instead of brace frame. So I would definitely pick that up if you're the sort of person that likes a scout rifle. I know plenty of people that do and I know plenty of people that will pick this up so don't miss out on it. Next up we're going to take a trip over to the other robot in the vendor and I don't mean the cleaning one. It's the Vanguard Quartermaster, Ronnie 5530. So here we are at Ronnie. And again, this week, it's another weapon that seems to be making itself famous week in, week out. It's the Parthian Shot. So, this has Sure Shot. Again, one of the best sights in the game, alongside True Sight, but I prefer Super Sure Shot. And they'll call it Super Shot. That's my little nickname for it. It has Outlaw and Partial Refund. I'd go with Outlaw all day long here, it's just a better perk in my eyes. That increased reload speed after a precision kill, which you're going to get with this weapon, is just a massive boost. It then has brace frame or rifle barrel. Now, you could use either of these perks, but I would go with brace frame, because as a pulse rifle, this has plenty of base range already on it. So, I'd stick with brace frame on this occasion. It then also has one of the best perks for a pulse rifle, the head seeker perk. Body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. So if you get 32 for a headshot, if this perk is active, you could get, I think it's 34 or 36. Doesn't increase it by much, but it does make that much difference in PvP. Because three headshots per shot with a pulse rifle, remember? Next up, I'm going to finish up with the Future War Cult. Why? Because they are selling a very interesting rocket launcher this week which I think many PvP fans will be picking up, if they see it, that is. So, wait for it to load. It is the Warpath with Solar Burn. Ignore the rest of the launches, you want to stick with the confined launch because it keeps that blast radius up. It has Fluid Magwell or Quick Draw, and as I mentioned previously, with heavy weapons, Quick Draw is your best perk to go with. This weapon will take a long time to ready up. This speeds up that process. It then has perfect balance or tripod. No need for balance on a rocket launcher, so use tripod. Get that third rocket in the tube, ready to fire. It then has tracking, the best perk on a rocket launcher you could want. Meaning, combined with this, this rocket launcher is a three in the tube tracking rocket launcher. You won't get much better than this for a PvP rocket launcher. You can fire three rockets and each and every one of them that will track their targets. Now, tracking isn't as aggressive as the truth tracking, but it's still more than good enough for someone that knows what they're doing with it. For example, in trials, this rocket launcher will be able to kill every member of the opposition team if used correctly. Meaning, it is very efficient and you don't see many of them out there. And that's it from me Guardians. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to drop a like and feel free to comment on what you thought of these weapons. Again, these are just my opinions. There could be other opinions out there that might disagree with me. I'm fine with that, but feel free to comment on it below. See you out there, right way gaming, over and out.